So I can remember back in 2016 when I first got my start in voiceover, everybody that was anybody was saying, do not use a USB microphone, which is literally what it is that I'm using right now, a USB microphone. And I got my start actually against all advice and used a USB microphone. As a matter of fact, I still have it. It's this one here. It's the AT2020. So much has happened over the past almost decade at this point, or over a decade, where are we? 2022, going back to 2016. So much has happened in regards to voiceover, in regards to technology, and the different tools that you're actually able to use. You know, if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Earl Hall. Look, I've been a professional voice actor since 2016 and still am an active VO. I do a lot, but I'm still an active VO. And quite frankly, it's a great living to make. But the advice from people that are saying, look, don't, don't ever use a USB microphone. Let me just tell you, it's probably the worst advice that's out there. Well, I can't, that's kind of harsh, right? That, that's kind of harsh, but I kind of want to nail a point home here. The level of technology that goes into these microphones now is amazing. And there's a reason why you actually, if you're first getting started in this industry, there's a reason why you want to make sure that your costs are low. I mean, even this AT2020 that I still have, which was my first VO mic, is still under $100. I think it retails on Amazon for $99. You can just check the link in the description if you want to pick that one up. But the one that you're, you're actually seeing and hearing right now is a, I'll just show you the box. It's an MV7 from Shure. This microphone as far as when it comes to developing or, or delivering great, great audio quality, well, you can hear it. And I'm not in a treated space either. I'm not sitting in a booth or anything like that. I'm just sitting out in the open. This is literally connected via USB. And you'll notice on the back of this microphone, if I can tilt it up, sorry if I make noise here. I have this plugged in via USB, but guess what? It still even has an XLR connection if you want to add this to your favorite audio interface. But let's just say you want to, and this, this microphone as it comes right now is under $230 right now. And you link is in the description if you want to check it out on Amazon. Why would I even suggest a voiceover artist getting this particular microphone? Because look, even though you can get like the AT2020 that I showed you before for $99, you're still going to need an audio interface to be able to, to use that if you get the XLR version, right? The XLR version of any microphone, you're still going to need to have an audio interface. I'm looking for one. I know I have one around here. Let me grab one. So this is my very first audio interface as well. This is a Focusrite Scarlett Solo. And you can see the link for that in the description as well. If you're going to be using a microphone that needs an XLR connection, you're going to have to spend at least another $100, $120 to get something like that. To be able to plug your microphone in and then plug that audio interface into your computer. The reason that I love this particular microphone is that I have a choice. If I just want to plug in USB like it is plugged in right now via USB, I can do that. And if I want to have it plugged into an interface and maybe get a little bit more out of it or whatever, I can do that as well. This mic literally can grow with you from the beginning of your, your career and a long way into it. But let's just be real. Most people that are just starting out, you know, you don't have big budgets to, to really spend on a lot of expensive gear. And you can tell even by listening to this microphone, you can get great audio out of a lower end microphone for the voiceover industry. Now, obviously, I can use this microphone for podcasting or content creation or whatever. But as a VO microphone, especially if you're in a in a treated space. And the thing about this particular 
<coughs> excuse me, the thing about this particular microphone, it comes with, and I'm going to show you here as soon as I can move this around and pull this up. I'm just going to do a simple screen share here and you're going to be able to see it comes with this free software. I wish I could just like blow this up on here, but I can't right now. So, but at any rate, can I make this? Uh, I can really just move it around. All right. You're going to have your presets on here that, and, and this is manual level, right? This is on the manual level where you can adjust the gain. You can adjust even your EQ. You can have a limiter on this if you want to have a limiter. You can even have the compression. Let's just move the compression up to medium. See what this sounds like because this is real time. So this is medium compression. This is light compression. We'll just leave it right there. And even this EQ, right now I have it flat. Well, what if I want to roll off the bass with the high pass? Then I can do that. And there's a lot of other settings here as well. This is free software that comes with this microphone. Even if I go to auto level and, you know, I say, okay, I want it near or far. Right now, this is obviously near. Uh, which most VOs would have that on. You can have the natural tone set. You can have it as a bright tone. You may be able to hear a difference in that or not, even a dark tone. I usually leave it on natural, but I love these presets. And so we're going to go ahead. I'm just going to, let's go to whatever, what did I have in, in custom? We'll see what I had in custom there. So this is what it sounds like with my custom settings that I had associated with it as well. This microphone comes with such an array of functionality that just makes it, I'm not going to call it like the best mic ever, right? But you can really get some really good VO work with this particular microphone without breaking the bank. And I know a lot of times, especially breaking into a new industry, like if you're a brand new voiceover artist, you're wondering, because you're getting a lot of different advice, right? You're getting advice on microphones. You're getting advice on audio interfaces, you know, uh, DAWs as far as your digital audio workstations, whether you use Audacity, whether you use Adobe Audition, you know, Studio One, all these other different things. But let's just be real. Can, can we be real with each other here for a moment? What I want you to realize is that a lot of that right now is just noise. Because until you start getting work, there's no need to like elevate to better and better and better gear. This is why I'm bringing you this microphone today to kind of really show you some of the options that you may have as far as look, if you've got, you know, 200 bucks, 230 bucks, this is going to get you going and last you for a very long time, even as you grow. And until you've solidified for yourself that, look, VO is the thing that I want to do, VO is the thing that I'm, I'm hanging my hat on, then there will be a reason sometime down the line to always upgrade if you want to. It's why I still have my first mic. And I have probably six microphones that I've used over my career. Um, a lot of the higher end microphones as well, but this is one thing that I found out. So remember this pro tip from me. What is more important than the microphone that you use is the space that you record in. That is the most important component. It is having a treated space. And so I'll share some videos with you and you can even watch some videos that I've already done. If this has been uh, helpful to you, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And make sure that you tick the bell so that you know when I upload a brand new video so that you don't have to miss a beat. Leave me a comment below. What microphone are you using? What microphone do you want to use? Do you want to use this one? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you on the next video.